After last season battle between Pep Guardiola, Manchester City, and Mikel Arteta, Arsenal for the Premier League title, this season has erupted the same. What can Arsenal do to have an edge over Manchester City and win the title? Let's find out. Yo, what's up Arsenal fans? It's your boy again, you know, seven, and it's Arsenal and up. Yes, you are back again. Let's get right into this video. Yeah, it's been a past few days now since Arsenal last played a game and of course we won our last game convincingly against Bernamot of course. There's a lot of talks about Ateta and Iraola, the manager of Bernamot, about the childhood friendship, a lot of connection between them. They grew up together, played in the same academy and of course might have similar philosophy of football because of course Bernamot are playing really good real good football and of course some experts were already of the opinion that Bramot could be the team that could end Arsenal tied to ambition of course though we always know that sometimes when you expect Arsenal to win some games it takes just one team that is probably underestimated by a lot of people a lot of pundits a lot of football fans around the world to just cause an upset and well that's it We've seen that in Southampton, in Everton in recent time, Eastern Villa also, Brighton, causing us all upset, even Wolves. But this time around, Arsenal has been able to overcome all those, except for Eastern Villa, which of course could eventually end up being a really bad one and another upset that led to Arsenal title ambition destruction. Because as it stands right now, it's still Arsenal with just one point advantage over Manchester City. It is 3 it is 2 really, really close. And of course, we can only say that it will take a, a, probably City drawing just a single game and Arsenal winning the rest of our games, or City losing a game and Arsenal winning the rest, of course, or we are out. So, Arsenal need to win our next game against. Manchester United at Old Trafford, of course, which of course is a big test. And I'm going to go into that later. Why it's a big test and why I think Arsenal should really take that match really important because you never can tell. Manchester United are also looking to get into Europe, to get into the Europa League, and of course, that's one game they don't want to draw quick because they've not really been in a good form. They've had bad luck of injuries, and of course, Ten Hag is trying to save his job because, according to reports. Bayern Munich are targeting Ten Hag, but he loves it at Manchester United. If the report we are hearing uh, wants to believe, so it's a very, very big platform for him to prove himself to the new owners, or let me say, new football administrators of Manchester United in the Ineos, led by Sam G. At life, so of course. It's gonna be a big game for us and of course for them, more importantly for us because we are choosing the title. So let's just see how that one goes, but definitely that's what we want to look out for. We're going to go into that later in the video or more in our next video, but stick around as we get into other news concerning Arsenal today. Alright, so talking about our last game, of course, we played a team who is well coached and well organized in Bramot. They have an upcoming form before the manager joined them. They've been having issues, you know. They have not been the best. They've been, of course, where you expect them to be, probably. A team probably fighting for relegation battle with other teams of that stature. No disrespect intended. But, of course, they now have become a fearful team. If a team, other teams fear. And they're not afraid to take the game up to you, any team at all. Though their record against the big side have not been really good, and of course, as not really disappoint, we not disappoint in that one. Though it was a nervy end to the game, but apparently after the second goal, Arsenal felt more relaxed, and of course, the third goal and the last goal, that beautiful goal by Declan Rice, it showed a lot of composure in uh, trying to slow down the shot, and of course, eventually taking it and um, well, well dispatched. Now the player. Or let me say that goalkeeper Trevor's has really, really been top in that particular one. He denied the Bukayo Saka several times. He denied even Kai Everts, but unable to deny Declan Rice. And of course, that shot. Why not is about that keeper is when you play to his near post, then he's going to deny you. But when you're able to change, like 
what Trotter did, it will be out for him. So the first goal came in courtesy of the penalty, which of course Kai Avert did really well. And of course, second goal by Leo Trotter. This guy has already been one heck of a player this season, coming up for us when we need goal the most. Though we were leading 1 0, but it was really tough for us to continue that game, the tempo, the way we want to control games, the way we want to, those moments, the way we want to have authority in the game because they are also a threat. They have the likes of Semeo and the likes of Justin Clovert and their striker also Solanke. These guys are deadly. So they didn't give us the opportunity to play the way we want, attack the way we want, but eventually, eventually we were able to win that one. So but Leonard Chosar goal came in at the right time and of course settled the guys down and we were able to control that game more and that led also to the goal by the Rice assisted by substitute Gabriel Jesus who came in for Bukayo Saka. So now we will talk more on our, the, our view or preview in our next video about the Manchester United of course that's our next big game and um, that's one to watch out for and I'll see you all in my next video. Alright guys. guys it's a wrap for today and i would love to see you in our next video and you might want to follow your boy on socials uh, instagram nelly junior 7 and you can also subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any latest arsenal news and top stories that are so exciting here so please share also to your friends and follow arsenal fans so that nobody gets to miss this big top stories we share here on arsenal random and don't forget to turn on post notification so that you also so you don't get to miss our top stories on this channel all right guys i will see you in our next video until then your boy is out